good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel thanks a lot for the visit uh comrade ocg one time spokesman of uag has come out to speak but there's something there's something that i'm concerned about he's not coming out to denounce uag although you listen to it he revealed a lot of secrets but i demand why when he was with Ken. He was busy castigating people. This very man called me and told me to take down my YouTube channel. And they offered me money. This OCG that is talking. They threatened me. When they saw that I was not paid up, they left me. So what I'm saying is that no one is held accountable. They will deceive us, enrich themselves. At the end, they will come. They will not say they are fighting for the masses. We we'll listen to what he said. You know, it's good too that he's finding out the truth. But we that knew the truth all along were saying something. They were castigating and attacking us. We were saying that the, the, the lies we are being told is too much. Let them lay out a principle because every grant has expiring date, disbursement date, and after disbursement, collation, and after that, evaluation. But they were just going up and down and castigating. Now he has come out now. He has started attacking UAAG. So what is his interest? So guys, we'll listen to this, this OCG has to say. But what I want to tell you subscribers, we still have to be aware of him because we don't know where his interest lies. Tomorrow now you hear now that he has a grant. That he's not a grant handler. He has a grant and people will start subscribing because he is now irrelevant he wants to make himself relevant you know so now he has resigned as uag spokesman what is he up to now i hope he's not up to getting his own grant so let's listen to him let's listen to him we'll see you on the other side good day nigerians my name is comrade ocg fellow nigerians lovers of truth Career of natural justices, I come your way today to enlighten you on the event and what is going on in the grant community. Nigerians, I have made a resolve in time past to be silent over the grant issue from the time I resigned. But uh, I have deemed it necessary recently to uh, come your way in order to explain to you what is going on. Fellow Nigerians and fellow subscribers of Grant in Nigeria, I will be doing this for the betterment of my fellow subscribers. I am not affiliated to any group or am I in any kind of interest. My singular interest is disbursement. And I have to do this. Nigerians, I bring to you the reality of the moment. The people you heard as at uh, last week coming up to, to make what the white calls white noise are a group of miscreants, group of low IQ individuals that are like the spanner in the hands of their masters. Last two weeks, I heard one Pascal Anyang from the East who made one controversial claim that uh, he is the leader of all CEOs in Nigeria and the CEOs didn't know him. It is worrisome, however, that this same person could not only stop at that first claim but furthered by going to CDHES uh, if I'm wrong, you, you, you know the correct one. He went there and made claims that the documents of uh, a claimed UAAG country director is with the ID of police. When I was listening to that, I, I wanted to say, was well, this doctor? Then I remember that illiteracy is virtual, ignorance is virtual. So and as such, I knew that that was a direct record of that young man making such previous uh, uh, claims. 
Now, this guy who claimed that the uh, document of Apostle Ken Wakama is with the IG of police and President Tinubu were, were not also satisfied. He went ahead to the radio station, a bit television, and made another claim that um, Apostle Ken Wakama as a grant has been delayed by the government making direct request from the presidency to release the grant which was a thing of surprise to me as the former spokesperson of the umpire you call UAAG I made my investigation very far and wide and I want to state categorically I did not find anything called UAAG I am not doing this because I hate the acclaimed self, uh, country director of UAG. But I'm doing this because my life is, uh, you know, uh, based on the achievement. My life is uh, tied to the masses. It does not necessarily mean that I will have to gain from the masses for me to say the truth. But it is in my nature to always divulge this truth when there is need. Apostle Ken Wakama, as the country director of UAG, was the one I defended over time when he convinced me that uh, someone had to put his name in a document of grant. However, when I made my findings, I discovered otherwise. I related back to Apostle Ken. I said, sir, this is what I found that I didn't find you in any document. He refused to yield to my submission. I also tried to call the attention of the chief admin, which is Pastor Alex Amuta. I told him, I did not see or find out that August name is in any document, in any grant in this country. Say so did I do, I did the same thing to uh, the chief accountant, Pastor Simon Idachaba. All of these people, did not yield to the things I was trying to relate to them. After this, I did not stop. I tried to call my boss over and again, trying to relate to people around. I called the attention of uh, Mr. Akalo from Abia State. I told him what I found out. I said, please, since Ken is your brother, relate.